What's up fabricators? Welcome to this build vlog that I'm doing for uh, an idea that I had. So Jen and I were at lunch and uh, uh, I had an idea for a prop for our Fallout Mario cosplay that we're doing for Alamo City Comic Con. So I said, hand me a napkin and a pen. And she said, I have a paper. And I was like, no, no, no. All best ideas are written on napkins or drawn on napkins. So then I came up with this. It's a piranha plant from Mario, but it is uh, fallout eyesed. So I'm going to start working on this. Actually, I've, I've already started working on it. The, we went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's. We went all over the place today. Uh, and I bought these foam, <laughs> these little foam pieces. They're half circles. Um, and then I'm gluing them together. So at the moment, this is all I've done. I've sanded it a little bit. I've cut some of the stuff in the inside of it and uh, I glued it to the point where it's gonna stay open like this. So I've done a few things, as you can see. Uh, I put some EVA foam around the lips to create the lip looking thing, and then on the side here. Um, and then I just drawn out different patterns and stuff on him with pen, um, and then I need to mod podge it after this. Uh, I'm also working on a tongue. So I've added some googly eyes I painted with Plasti Dip uh, to be rivets on the lip like pieces and then I've added a few little pieces uh, this plate right here um, I use these little beads that come on a sheet uh, you can get them in the crap 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 booking I was gonna say crap booking <laughs> you can get them in the scrapbooking aisle uh, at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that and you just paint over them they look like rivets googly eyes same thing um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'm waiting for some Mod Podge to dry, and then we are getting to my favorite part, which is painting. So I painted the whole thing black, and then after that, I went over it with some metallic luster. It's like rub and buff, pretty much. Uh, and I still got a lot more painting to do. I need to put the teeth in. Um, I wanted to paint the inside of it before I did anything with the teeth. So I'm gonna put the teeth in, and then I'm going to start painting it red and white because I wanted to give it a, this base before I um, started painting the color on top of it. So I painted it, see there we go, I painted it um, with red, kind of just made it look like it's red painted over metal. Um, and then I went over it with, did the red, did the little white spots on it, and then I painted it with Mod Podge, black washed it, did a little bit more silver, uh, just pretty much layers of black washing, silver some red paint and stuff like that. And this is the final result as of right now. This is pretty much all I'm gonna do with him. I still need to make the stem and the leaves and the pot and that got allowed. So my next step that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take some antennas that I actually took off of a uh, an old like digital antenna thing. What? Look at that, ha ha. And I'm gonna stick them on top uh, of the the piranha plant's head um, because somebody pointed out that it looked kind of like a repurposed iBot, and I was like, oh, that's perfect. So I'm gonna put those two antennas on top just to give that little um, that look. You kind of make that association. I'm currently working on the stem, which is this piece right here. Um, it is just PVC piping. I got some a little. 90 degree elbow, elbows, this whatever degree this elbow right here is, and covered it in plastic dip, and I'm gonna start painting it. So, I'm do the same kind of paint scheme that I did for the um, the piranha plant head, and make it look metal, and then paint green on top of it. So, I've uh, painted the stem, as you can see here. Painted it green, attached it to the back of his head. It's all angled and everything. Aha, looks good. So I've got to make the leaves that are coming off of the stem and then I need to finish the pot painting in the outside of it and then I'm going to cement him into the pot. So it's getting pretty close to being uh, finished. Also, I added the antennas that I was telling you guys about. They're not extended as far as they will be but I want to keep them kind of like pushed in right now so I'm not hitting them on anything and make them fall off or anything. Working on the leaves. It's just a piece of craft foam that I shaped 
with a heat gun and then like I actually made a little cut in the middle and glued it so it would stay this way. And then I put some more of those little rivet things on here, spray painted it, mod podged it, dry brushed it, and actually this is what it's gonna look like. This is a complete one. Uh, it's gonna be going on the stem here in a minute. I've got some Pro Ready Mix Concrete Patch because I just need to fill this in the bottom. I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm going to stick the bottom of that in there and let it cure. And then once that is hardened, uh, I'm gonna use some of this stuff, great stuff, which is expanding foam, and I'm gonna put it around the top to probably about there. And let that dry and sand it down or something a little bit if it's too high and paint it and this guy will be all finished. So we have the Piranha Bot in his uh, little pot right here. You can see in there I poured concrete in there. Um, it's been sitting since yesterday, uh, so yesterday evening, so it's close to being set. And then once that is set and ready to go, I'm going to add some of the uh, expanding foam in there to give it a little bit more stability. I've filled the inside of the pot with expanding foam. It is to the point where it is, you can touch it, however, not totally solid yet. So it's coming along pretty well. Once this totally solidifies, and it says it takes about eight hours for this to entirely solidify, um, then once that solidifies, I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit. I might just leave it the way it is because it kind of paint it to look like dirt or something like that. Um, but other than that, the, I mean, that's almost the end. I've zip tied this piece right here uh, because the leaves were drooping a little bit and I've zip tied it underneath there as well. Um, I'm gonna paint those so that they blend in. So here it is, my completely finished piranha plant, fallout piranha plant. I bought piranha plant. I don't know what you wanna call it. Uh, we've got everything all done. The antennas are in place. Got them all painted. His leaves are all set up. And finally, at the very end, we added uh, on top, I shaved down the expanding foam a little bit, painted it with Mod Podge, and then poured dirt on top of it that I got uh, in a clean part of my backyard. <laughs> And then I poured the dirt out and that's all kind of stuck on it. I went and sprayed some clear coat on top of the dirt there to keep it in place even more. So this bad boy is all finished. And of course I had to add a final touch. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can figure this out real quick. The final touch. And that's the speaker in his mouth that plays music. Playing things to wander to. Just because the world's been burned down doesn't mean we can't dance on the ashes. Here's one that goes out to our very own mustache man, his green loving brother, and that beautiful blonde princess of a peach. Remember, keep your eyes open and your finger on the trigger. product in its natural habitat is the wagon that we created. We created this to sit in the wagon that Jen will be pulling around uh, at the convention. And this is the wagon.
Thanks for watching my piranha plant build from concept to reality right here. Uh, it changed up a little bit. You guys got to see my train of thought and everything. So keep fabricating and we'll catch you next time.